Jira is primarily an agile project management tool designed to streamline the way that software teams manage projects like product development, bug tracking, feature testing, and more. So today in this updated Jira tutorial, my focus is to walk you through setting up, understanding, and using Jira for agile project management. I help you and your team get familiar and up and running with this free project management tool built for software-oriented teams. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into this updated Jira tutorial for beginners, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and launch into Agile Project Management with Jira. Okay, so to arrive at Jira Project Management, simply head over to your browser and type in Jira or click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you to this Jira landing page. For those that don't know, Jira is now designed for all types of projects and teams. It's not just an agile project management tool. You can dive into any type of project. Jira allows for smooth collaboration and communication between departments, teams, and projects. Okay, so for those that currently do not have a Jira account, simply navigate up to Get Jira for free. And for those that already have a Jira account, you can skip this step and I'll meet you inside Jira. Now, Jira's free plan allows for up to 10 users, which is sufficient enough for most small teams. A typical Scrum team is between five and nine people. Okay, so go ahead and add your work email or sign up with these platforms down here. I'm going to add my work email and then sign up. Go ahead, locate and add your verification code. Simply add your full name, create a password and then click on continue. Go ahead and add your business or project name and then click on continue. Here we want to select the type of work that represents what we do. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to focus on Agile project management, and in particular the methodology that we'll be focusing on is the Scrum framework. So let's click on Software Development. However, as I mentioned earlier, you can now use Jira to manage all your different types of teams and projects. Come down, click on Continue. Again, like I mentioned, today we'll be focusing on Scrum, which is a popular methodology for Agile project management. Simply select Scrum and start now. And as soon as you arrive inside Jira, you'll be asked to add your project name. And for my Scrum project, I've added Sheetify website development. So go ahead, add your Scrum project, then come down and click on Get Started. Let's go ahead and dismiss this quick start. And you can see we have our first project up here. If we navigate up to Projects, we can simply come down and create a new project. Okay, so let's close this. Now, before we start adding epic stories and tasks to our backlog, let's go ahead and add our team members. Here we have the option to create a team or simply invite people to Jira. Let's go ahead and invite our team members. Here we can invite our teams by adding names or emails, or we can simply choose from a platform to add our team members. For now, I'm going to simply navigate up here and add my team's emails. Then come down to these access options. I'm going to deselect this option here, site users to invite other people. And I'll also keep this option selected, then add five people. And as you can see, emails have been successfully sent to everyone we invited. And new users with a verified email address can join without an invite. Now, if we navigate up to planning on the left hand side, you'll see these different view types. We have timeline, backlog, board, list and issues. We can also add an additional view down here. You can see the views that we currently have enabled and you can also view more views down here. Now under backlog, this is where we want to plan our sprint. Now for those that are beginners when it comes to agile project management and in particular the Scrum framework, we need to understand the structure of Scrum. First we have our roadmap which is our top level goals. Essentially, what do you want to achieve with this project? And then our roadmap consists of a backlog, and this is a changing list of work items to complete during a sprint. And your most important item should be at the top. Within your backlog, you have epics, and epics are a large chunk of work that are broken down into smaller manageable chunks called stories. And stories are made up of tasks. And these tasks are used to break down stories even further into manageable activities. And these tasks are typically completed by one person in your team. In Scrum, these tasks are delegated to your dev team. 
And don't worry, I'll dive deeper into each of these Scrum elements as we walk through this tutorial. Okay, so first what we want to do is create and add epics, stories and tasks to our backlog. Then following this, we're going to allocate those elements to our sprints. And then when your team is ready to engage in those action items, you can start the sprint. Again, we'll talk more about this soon. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate up to Epic and then turn this on and then navigate down to Create Epic. And I'm going to call this Epic Improve Customer Service. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now we can either add another Epic here or we can navigate up to Create and then navigate down to the Issue Type and then click on Epic. And this interface gives us more options. Navigate down to Summary. And for the purpose of this Epic, I want to add Increase Product Page Conversions. Now it's important to note that the product owner is responsible for adding Epics to your roadmap. Next, navigate down, add a description if you like for your team, and you can also leverage these formatting options as well as AI. And in this case, I'm the product owner, so I'm going to select Assign to Me. If we navigate down further, we can add specific labels, a parent element, start date and end date. I'm going to add the 1st of June through to the end of June. And I'm happy with that. You can also assign a reporter and add attachments relevant to this epic. Then we have other settings down here, which we can come back to later. I'm going to navigate down and click on create. If you want to create another issue, another scrum element, select this option. I'm just going to select create. Now, if we navigate up here, you can see we have two epics. If I click on this drop down, you can see basic information here and you can also click on view all details and that's going to generate more details over on the right hand side for your epic for your issue. Now if you're unfamiliar with what issues are inside Jira, essentially these are just work items. And again, a work item could be anything, it could be an epic, a story or a task. Again, if we navigate over to improve customer service, this epic, we can add additional details. Okay, so let's navigate up to the top and close this. Now let's come down to our project backlog and start adding tasks to our backlog. Come down and click on create issue. Select the type of issue that you want to create. At the moment, we have story selected. I'm happy with that. And remember our epics are broken down into stories. I'm going to add provide live chat as a feature. And this story is going to be part of the improved customer service epic. I'm going to hit enter. And for this story, I'm going to add create a video based knowledge base. And I'm going to add one more story, create a review based system for collecting and showing reviews. Now with each of these stories, for example, provide live chat as a feature. If I click here, I'm going to navigate up to add epic and add this story to this improve customer service scrum. And I'm going to do the same with this story. Navigate up to add epic and click on the epic you want to add this story to. Then the third epic, which I want to add this story to, is this epic here, increase product page conversions. So remember, these stories here represent work that needs to be completed inside our epics. Let's minimize this and let's actually change the color for this epic. I'm going to navigate up here and change this color to green and close this epic. Again, let's navigate down to this first story and expand these details and then add further details like descriptions. We can also connect Confluence pages and in Jira, these are essentially team workspace pages for collaboration and information sharing. If we navigate down, we can assign this story, add labels, change the parent, add the story to a sprint and add story points. And story points essentially help measure the effort required to complete specific work. Okay, so let's navigate up here, close this, and then navigate down to create issue. And this time I'm going to select here and click on task. And this task is going to be called add WhatsApp chat to our website. And the next task I want to add is similar, add Facebook Messenger chat to our website. Now with each of these issues or work items, what we can do is navigate over to the right hand side and click these three dots and we can move to, and we can move these items to our Scrum Sprint 1. As you can see, we have our sprint up here, which currently has zero issues. We can move this item to top of backlog. And the most important item should be at the top of your backlog. And then we have these other options down here. We can copy the issue link as well as copy issue key and these other options down here. We can assign the issue and add a parent. However, I'm going to click out of here and navigate up to this first task and add an epic, which is improve customer service. And again, for this task, improve customer service. Now what we want to do is link this story to our two tasks here because with this story what we want to do is provide live chat as a feature on our website and to do this our dev team needs to complete these two tasks add WhatsApp chat to our website 
and add Facebook Messenger chat to our website. So what we would do is simply click on this story, then navigate up to link and then click on link issue. Then make sure is blocked by, then come down and then search for the issue. I'm gonna select this issue and then this issue here and then click on link. And now you can see that these two tasks are connected to this story. And this story is linked to our Epic Improved Customer Service. Okay, so let's navigate over here, close this. And essentially what you wanna do is take the time to create your issues, your work items, and add all of your tasks that are associated to your stories. Okay, so if we navigate up here, you can see that this work item, this story, is the most important thing that we need to get completed. What I can do is navigate over to the right-hand side, click here, then select Move, and then move this work item to Scrum Sprint 1. I'm going to minimize this so we can see these other options up here. Again, remember you can create any items up here. Let's close this and then navigate down to these two tasks and select them and then navigate over to these three dots and click on Move to Scrum Sprint 1. And as you can see, just like that, we've moved our two tasks as well as our story into our first sprint. Now let's navigate over to these three dots and then click on edit sprint. Now a sprint is a specific time frame to complete a set amount of work. Typically the time period is one month or less. For now, I'm happy with this sprint name. Then under duration, I'm happy with custom. I'm going to select the start date, which is going to be Monday, the 3rd of June. I can add a time here if I like. And then the end date, I'm going to navigate across and then click on the 1st of July. Then you can add the sprint goal. In our case, this is all about improving our customer's experience on our website. Then navigate down to update. Okay, so you can see we have a backlog of work items and we have our sprint that starts next month. I'm going to unselect these. Again, when you're ready to start the sprint, simply click on start sprint. However, you wanna make sure that all the details are added to each of these work items. Now let's navigate over to timeline. And the timeline view is ideal for understanding dependencies and the start and end dates of your different work items. You can see our different items here. This is our first epic. And you can see within this epic, we have this one story that includes two tasks. And then we have another story here. If we click on this drop down next to our second epic, you can see we have one story and you can see how your items are connected. Now let's navigate over to board. This shows you to do in progress and done. For example, I'm going to navigate over to Backlog and let's say the sprint we already started. You can see we have the plan date here, but I'm just going to start the sprint now. And you can see under Board, we now have these three items that need to be completed. If I click on this item here and let's change the status to In Progress, you can see that automatically that work item will shift from To Do to In Progress. Now, if we click on this drop down and click on View Workflow, we can edit this workflow if we like. Simply come down, click on Edit Workflow, and here you can make changes to your workflow. I'm going to leave this for now by discarding changes and leaving. Now I can also navigate up here and type in Review and click this green tick, and then move this status over here. And once our dev team has worked on this task, they can move this task over to Review before it's completed. Then we can navigate over to List, and you can see all your items as a list view. You can see your different columns across here, status, sprint, who the work item is assigned to, the due date labels, and more. We can click add, and we can add additional custom fields if we like. If we navigate over to issues, here you can see all your different work items in detail. If we navigate down to project pages, this is where you and your team can collaborate and share information through pages. If we navigate over to retrospective, this is where you can create a page for you and your team to reflect on the different elements inside your sprints that went well and what you need to improve on. If we navigate up to dashboards, we can view our default dashboard, we can view all dashboards, and we can create a new dashboard to view and manage our projects. If we navigate up to apps, you can simply integrate third-party apps with your Jira software. For example, for internal communication, you can use Slack. If you want to capture information through forms, you can integrate Google Forms or any other form builder. You can enable time tracking by adding the app Time Camp so you and your team can start tracking time. And you can connect many other important apps by simply navigating down to Explore More Apps. If we click up here and then navigate over to your work, you can see all work assigned to you, recent as well as boards. For example, let's go to your work page and that's gonna take you to your recent projects as well as the work items that you've worked on. And you can see work items that are assigned to you. Now, if we navigate up to projects and let's say we want to create a new project, then here you can create a new project from scratch or you can choose from pre-made templates. 
For example, Kanban, Scrum, if we navigate down to different projects like product management, service management, and even marketing down here, we have access to all these different project management templates. Remember, Jira is not just for agile project management. You can manage different types of teams and projects and connect all these different projects together using this one platform. Let's navigate back up to software development and then click on Kanban and then select use template. Here you can choose the project type. If you have a large organization, most likely you have specific teams. And so you want to create a project that is team managed. However, if you're a small business and everyone inside your organization is responsible or important in regards to this project, then company managed is the structure you want to go for. Let's come down and click on select a company managed project, then simply add your project name and key, then come down and click on next. And that's going to take us back to the Kanban board. Again, you can jump between these different views. Okay, so let's jump back to our original project, Sheetify website development. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this updated Jira tutorial for beginners, helping you get started with agile project management, and in particular, the agile methodology, Scrum. And there we have it guys, that is it for this updated Jira tutorial for beginners, helping you understand agile project management. Now, if you have any questions about this Jira tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.